in a quiet American town there lived a man named Jason. He was an ordinary family man, he worked in an office, he had a wife, Emily, and a little daughter, Anna. But one terrible night, strange events began to happen in their house. Their daughter began to see shadowy figures in her room, and Emily heard unexplained sounds from the basement. A few days later, poltergeist-like phenomena began to occur in the house, the furniture moved by itself, the walls were covered with mysterious inscriptions, and the images on the walls changed without any external influence. Jason tried to explain all this with scientific reasons, but his explanations seemed less and less convincing. Jason became increasingly concerned, and his scientific skepticism began to give way before the unknown force that possessed his house. One evening, when Emily was at work and Jason was sitting in the living room, the furniture suddenly abruptly rose into the air and scattered in different directions, as if alive. He ran in fright to his daughter's room, where he saw a shadow moving on the wall, and his heart contracted with fear. He decided to hire a paranormal expert who conducted a serious investigation. The expert found that strange phenomena did occur in this house, but could not yet pinpoint their source. Jason began to uncover the past of his house and discovered that a family with a tragic fate lived here. The expert suggested that the spirits of the previous inhabitants could be the cause of abnormal phenomena. He recommended that Jason perform a purification ritual to calm the souls of the dead and get rid of negative energy. It was a difficult and dangerous undertaking, but Jason was determined. With each step of the ritual, the forces of evil became more and more active. They tried to intimidate Jason, but he wouldn't give up. Ominous screams were heard in his house, and the situation escalated to the limit. In the end, Jason was able to complete the ritual and it seemed that all the evil had left the house. However, over the next few weeks, the family continued to feel a strange presence. These were no longer poltergeist-like phenomena, but something unusual still haunted them. And although Jason and Emily tried not to pay attention to it, they knew that something was wrong. Jason and Emily couldn't shake the feeling that someone was watching them. Every night, when the city street was plunged into darkness, they noticed a strange dark figure in a mask standing outside the window. They saw her only out of the corner of their eyes, and as soon as they tried to look closely, she disappeared, as if evaporating into thin air. Fear seized the family again. They started to close the curtains and curtains, hoping that it would help them feel more protected, but the shadow continued to appear out of the darkness. Jason decided to install CCTV cameras to record this mysterious phenomenon. When the next night came, they saw the masked figure outside the window again. But this time, thanks to the cameras, they were able to capture her image. But when they tried to show the recording to an expert, the figure on the video distorted, as if her presence was something supernatural. On that dark evening, when Jason and Emily again encountered a dark figure in a mask outside the window, horror penetrated into their house so deeply that fear gripped them to the very soul. They began to hear whispers and rustles in the dark, and the shadow forces became more and more aggressive. Soon after, the terrible events began to unfold faster, as if their lives had become prisoners of nightmares. The furniture shuddered and moved through the rooms, as if obeying an ominous will. The doors closed and opened by themselves, and the house was filled with cold, as if the life force was flowing out of it. Daughter Anna began to fall into terrible nightmares every night, seeing in them terrifying images of a dark masked figure who was going to take her father away. Jason and Emily resolutely began to look for answers to all these strange phenomena and visited a crowd of local psychics and ghost hunters. One of the psychics suggested that there was a curse in the house imposed by the revenge of the spirits of the previous inhabitants. He proposed to conduct a dangerous ritual of purification and expulsion of sinister forces. However, the process turned out to be even more terrifying than anything they had seen before. Dark shadows resisted purification, and their aggression only intensified. A few nights later, Jason went missing and his family found his blood and signs of a struggle in his room. The next morning he was found in the hospital, unconscious, with his hands cracked with blood. The doctors were at a loss, 
as they could not determine the cause of this condition. When they tried to ask Jason what had happened, he only whispered the image of a dark figure in a mask. The mask has become a symbol of fear and horror for the whole town. Residents began to hear ominous rustling and whispering in the darkness, and many claimed to have seen a dark figure watching them from the shadows. The house became a gloomy maze of nightmares, where every step led to a new horror. The furniture groaned and creaked as if it had found its own life, but carried only death and destruction. All the objects that someone from the family touched remained covered in blood, as if she harbored a thirst for horror and suffering. Daughter Anna, trapped in nightmares, could not distinguish reality from dreams. Every night she saw a dark figure in a mask, who stared at her menacingly and staged bloody horrors right in her nightmares. Fear seized the girl, and she could not find a way to get out of this nightmarish cycle. Jason and Emily, desperate, turned to the crowd of psychics and ghost hunters for help. They tried to perform dangerous rituals and remove the curse that had overthrown their lives into a hell of horrors. But the forces of evil opposed them, and every step towards purification was accompanied by new horrors and streams of blood. A few nights later, the horror apocalypse came to the house. Everyone was bleeding, and the house was filled with deadly cold. Doctors and psychics who came to the rescue became victims of mysterious forces, and their bodies were found bleeding in different parts of the house. Jason and Emily, turned into living corpses, could no longer stand up. They were doomed to live in this hell of horrors, locked in their own house. All living things were bleeding, as if the house was drinking from life and thirsting for suffering. Suddenly, someone from the family received an SMS with a recording. The video showed horrifying scenes, a dark masked figure laughing in a sinister voice surrounded all family members, plunging them into the abyss of horror and despair. Do you still want to play? The voice on the video pierced the souls of Jason and Emily. But they could no longer answer, because their lives were prisoners of fear, and their fate was sealed by the dark force that hunted them. As a result of this terrible story, if you want even more scary and dark stories, subscribe to the Mr. Scary Stories channel. There you will find even more exciting and intense stories that will touch the darkest corners of your imagination. But be careful will have to face the nightmares and horrors that await you in the world of Mr. Scary Stories.